Hi, I want to talk about a meditation technique that has helped in the healing of a lot of serious diseases. This meditation technique has had the track record where it increases the immunity of the body manifold. The way I know about this meditation technique is that I have made a documentary film on this meditation technique which we will be releasing in the third quarter of 2020. But considering the pandemic of coronavirus, I wanted to um, release a few clips from this documentary which you will see uh, in the latter part of the video. These clips basically show how uh, the meditation helps in increasing the immunity of the body and hence uh, this can uh, come in useful in the fight against coronavirus. Um, the clips that I will be sharing will be a couple of uh, AIDS patients, uh, patients that have acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. Uh, they have been battling uh, the HIV virus or the human immunovirus for many years. The before and after reports of these uh, patients um, uh, who have tried this um, uh, meditation in one of the clips, uh, one of the patients has stopped taking all medicines and he only does the meditation to maintain his immune system um, so that the HIV may not relapse. Another clip uh, which is of a cancer patient, this cancer patient was advised six chemotherapies and uh, he was doing regular meditation, he recovered fully in just three chemotherapies. Also, the, the way to do the meditation, uh, that is also included uh, in the latter part of the video. Now, in a nutshell, why this is effective is, um, let's say if only the medication is fighting against uh, the uh, virus or the infection, um, then it will take a very long time for the disease to heal and there will be a risk of the patient's death in this long sickness. But if along with the medication, uh, there develops an internal resistance to fight the infection or the virus, then uh, the combined effect of the of the medication as well as the internal resistance the person will heal a lot faster and uh, that is what the meditation does it basically increases um, the immunity of the body and gives an internal resistance to fight against uh, infections and viruses I got this disease HIV with my same girlfriend. She had given me the call and she had told me you are the gift of the HIV. Welcome in the world of the AIDS. She had committed a suicide. One of my friends has committed the suicide. I got the initiated by the Gurudev. The moment I got the initiated by the Gurudev, the automatically functioning on my the organ had taken the place. That time I realized the miracle energy of the Gurudev. So that time something is there, but actually what is there that it was very difficult for me to understand. It showed progress in the reports. The continuously it showed the progress in me and my reports, continuously. Uh, at present my status is that I'm following the ART prescription, what is uh, given by my doctor. But same time I'm doing the chanting and the meditations and the whatever the instruction had given me by Gurudev. In the 2013 it was about something 70 lakh something. I had gone for the second test in the 2014, that time it was a below 100, that, time, that means you can say it is a non-detected and the continuous it is something is a non-detected viral load. White blood cells fight infection in the human body. Their count in the blood reports is seen through CD4. If the CD4 count falls below 200 in blood report, AIDS is diagnosed. All states of India, other than the state of Kerala, have my disciples who have been cured with AIDS. In Mumbai alone, there are 1,000 HIV people to have been cured with AIDS. Some patients infected with HIV or cancer tried this mantra meditation. Their results were astonishing as their immunity was developed and the viral count in HIV reports came down. When your kundalini force is awakened, it subsequently increases the immunity of your body, or the resistance to fight disease increases. And if we compare the results of HIV-positive people, 
who were only taking antiretroviral therapy as opposed to the people who alongside antiretroviral therapy were also doing this meditation, the viral count in HIV reports were reduced to a greater degree in the patients that did this meditation. My marriage was set to happen on 15th May 2010, but on 13th May 2010, I got very sick unexpectedly. My family rushed me to Mathura Mathurdas Hospital, where my blood report showed I was infected with HIV. As a result, my marriage two days later was cancelled. After that, I came with my brother and took the mantra from Guru Siag and Jodhapur Ashram. Then I daily used to visit the ashram and used to meditate there. After about one month, I got married to the same girl who I was initially getting married to. Today I'm a blessed father of a boy and a girl. I am HIV positive and my wife and kids are not infected with HIV. Yes, I am. My infection did not spread in my family. When cancer patients did this meditation, even they showed some surprising results. In some cases, the patients got well without being given radiotherapy. I started having pain in my ear. The doctor said that there is a cancerous growth at this place. The report showed that I had developed a form of nasal cancer, and there was a possibility of it spreading into the brain. The doctor was very concerned and told me that my case was very critical. I might have only 15 days to live. I told my doctor that I have full faith in my Guru Dev and told him to begin his treatment. Meanwhile, in Kota, Guru Dev had come for a public discourse. I told him my situation and Guru Dev told me to keep the faith and continue the mantra meditation along with the medical treatment. Then a few days later, in a family gathering, I came to Jadapur and I went to the Jadapur Ashram Meditation Hall and meditated there. After finishing meditation, as I got up, I noticed that pus and fluid started coming out of my ear. So quite a lot of pus fluid came out of my ear. I told my doctor about this. He diagnosed and said that the cancerous growth had melted in my ear and it's now very little in quantity. The hospital reports confirmed that my cancerous growth had melted and I was to only take a few chemotherapies to completely get cured. The mantra that I will give you, if you chant that mantra, you will not die with the diseases that you have, be it diabetes, cancer, blood cancer, or hepatitis, or any such disease for that matter. This is an eternal life-saving mantra. I have been giving it to people since 1990. And I tell you this with conviction, that if you keep chanting the mantra, the disease will not kill you, even if medical science has termed that disease as incurable. If a realized guru gives out any form of knowledge or any potential mantra, there is a force in his voice, a realized guru's force lies in his voice. The enlightenment in me has given my voice a quality of activating the kundalini. So if you want to meditate, listen to my voice carefully before you yourself start chanting the mantra. Now the mantra is, you have to chant. There is a distinct G sound at the end of the word kling. Kling, Krishna kling, kling, Krishna kling. Kling, Krishna kling, kling, Krishna kling. Sit down in a comfortable position. Two small things have to be done. First, you listen to the voice of Guru Ramlal Siyag chanting the mantra a few times. Secondly, Now, meditate for 15 minutes, see my image, at the center of your forehead and continue with the mantra chanting. Look at his picture or Visualize his picture and put your focus on it. Then close your eyes and concentrate on the Agya Chakra or the center between the two eyebrows. So you have to chant this round the clock. Round the clock. Kling, Krishn, Kling, Kling, Krishn, Kling, Kling, Krishn, Kling, Kling, Krishn, Kling. Make sure that your chanting is internal. Your tongue and lips should not move while chanting. Your tongue shouldn't move to chant the mantra. 
um, it has to be an internal memorization or chanting. Do not get scared if any yogic movements happen to your body, the movements will automatically stop after 15 minutes. If you start having movements in your body or if you're in a deep meditative state, you will automatically come out of it after 15 minutes because that is the way it has been programmed. See, regarding uh, the method to meditate, uh, it can be a little difficult to wrap your head around the fact that the spiritual guru's photograph needs to be meditated upon and uh, the spiritual guru's uh, voice needs to be heard carefully uh, for the mantra to be effective. Um, the answer to these questions uh, are explained in detail in the documentary. Also, the documentary probes uh, uh, scientifically as to what exactly happens when the healings come about or when the immunity of the body is increased uh, the biology part of it the science part of it and again it is not just that the immune system of the body is strengthened a lot of mental diseases are treated you know depressions etc then this meditation is also effective for a lot of people who want to quit any addiction like smoking alcohol or drugs and again, the science part of it is explained. Also, the film brings to light the journey of four spiritual gurus um, and their life paths were connected for one single reason uh, for this mantra meditation to come out. Um, many sections in this part of the film uh, sometimes can be hard to believe or you know, you could say they're sort of uh, a bookish fantasy, but uh, uh, there are written records in biographies of uh, all the things uh, that are in the film. Um, see, uh, this film is basically made from a point of view where uh, science and spirituality sort of coexist. Or you could say where science and spirituality meet. Um, I just hope uh, people can uh, uh, try out this mantra meditation with an uh, open mind.